Hi everybody and welcome to my channel. Uh, I'm going to be doing a Pineland and B&M and Wilco haul today. I went a bit crazy yesterday <laughs> because I'm obsessed with Mrs Hinch, like obsessed with her. <laughs> um, and my Narnia was very low. So I went to Pineland and B&M and Wilco and went a little bit crazy in the cleaning aisles. But you know, so I'm going to be showing you what I got. Uh, I spent a bit too much money and I don't even know if I've got everything in here. I don't think I have, so one second. Right, this is going really well, isn't it, for a first video? <laughs> That's my focus. Right, uh, no, I did unpack it all, so it's not in any order. Like, I've not got a Pernland bag or a Wilco bag or a B&M bag. It's just going to be random, but I think I've got the receipts in the bottom of both of these bags. Oh, what am I? Actually. Yeah, so I'm going to say I went a bit crazy. I mean, oh, a little bit crazy. Right, um... This is the one with all of it. That's all good. My Wilco one. I actually got the le the least amount of stuff from Wilco. Am I for real? That is what I got from Wilco <laughs> to show you. <laughs> No, but really, I've never actually tried this deodorant, but it was on offer for £2.80. Yeah, it says I saved 90p. Uh, I got the Shower Fresh one, and it says it's 48 hour protection. Now, I have eczema, so some deodorants do bring me out in like, mm, I wouldn't say it was a rash, it was like, just get like irritated. Uh, but this one seems to be okay so far. I've used it since yesterday. Um, but yeah, interesting. So yeah, that was Wilco. Wow, crazy. I went so crazy. Now some of them, like I said, I've put away. Um, so like I got some like photo frames um, and some like storage baskets. Like if you watch Mrs. Hinch, you know, she puts everything in like baskets. Um, and so obviously so do I. Um, so I got some like storage baskets to go under my sink for my cleaning products uh, and they're under my sink but I got two medium and two small and I got what well, I got a medium in grey and a medium in white and then I got the same in the small and they seem pretty decent to be fair they was they was pretty cheap there was only one pound fifty nine which isn't bad uh, and then I got the my favourite Clara uh, now I ran out of this the other day and I am not joking when I say I was lost so I've seen this in some places they sell it for five, for five pound right? but in here it's three pound ninety nine no you might be thinking well it's only a pound but a pound is a pound right so I got two of these, they're the big ones, and, they're, and I have a cat and a dog, so I do use these a lot, because I use it on her litter trays, I use it on his bed, I use it everywhere, I put it in spray bottles, I use it for to put my bed, my uh, sink to bed, if you know, you know, uh, but yeah, so I got two of them, so these are, so we're all stocked up on them. But I'm really str I don't know if anyone else is, but like I keep seeing on Instagram, people tagging like all different of flowers, like the Yellow Spring, um, and the there's like lo loads of different spring ones and the Linen Fresh that I've had before. And for some reason, where I live, aren't stocking them anymore. They're changing them to like that, the like knockoff brand of it, which does not smell as nice in my opinion. 
Um, so I'm not impressed. I can't. Because I can hardly find and I like this is what I found and I hunted. Hunted in shops for this. The other Zaflora I got was a lemon zinc. I ran out of this the other day as well. And when I first got this, which was like, I think it was December. I don't know if it was because I was using like all the December fragrances, like the cranberry and orange and stuff. Um, but I didn't really reach for this. But now I do love it. Um, so I'm glad that I found this one. And I love the very berry one as well, but I couldn't find that. So I've got that and this dress is irritating me so if it comes up just ignore it uh and then we've got a summer breeze now i can't remember if i've tried this i think it might have been the first ever zaflora i bought like when i first moved out on my own which was five four years ago something like that but anyway it does smell nice and obviously it's been nice it's been sunny so it'd be nice to use that one by the way them ones were one pint out nine each the lemon zinc and the summer breeze one then i got from home bargains what else did we get from here got the blue no when i first got this as well i didn't really rate it i didn't see the point but i use this just when i'm going to bed like so when me and my girlfriend have finished on the toilet for the night. I'll put a cap full of this down from a height uh, and it all froths up and it does smell really nice and it does leave your toilet like gleaming at the bottom and it smells nice when you walk to the bathroom in the morning. So I got that one and I find that that's the cheapest place to me anyway that sells it. And that's £1.99. What else did we get from here? Got the, oh, just a second. Oh my God. You know you're unfit when you're absolutely knackered. I'm going nine stories and up again. So. Oh, hello. <laughs> um. Right, so I've been getting these candles now for a good three months. You know the Wickford and Co ones from Home Bargains. <coughs> and last time when it was my birthday, I got a Yankee candle. And I am no word of a lie now, was nowhere near as strong a scent as these. And they've brought out like some summer scented ones. Now anyone who actually knows me, knows in summer, my scent and I smell like coconut and this one is mango coconut cooler looks like this right honestly oh. i could i really 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 wish that I, this could just be permanently here <laughs> like i could just be walking around like with my candle and no one would look at me funny but they would and i've not burnt it yet so i don't know how this one burns but all my other uh, Wickford & Co candles have burned like, really well. Uh, it says it's 95 hours burning, which is pretty good. But yeah, so I'm going to start burning this tonight. And I can't wait for my house to smell like coconut and mango and like holiday dreams. So there we go. And then that was, tell me I've lost that was £2.99. And then we got uh sun creams but i'm not going to show you sun creams because they're just sun creams i got you i got you I got you guys <laughs> no i got um some nivea sun cream and some after sun because next month i'm going to santorini for the first time and i am so so ready so beyond ready now so yeah, so that was everything I got from Home Bargains. Have I been saying Wilco's the whole time? Well, anyway, guys, that was Home Bargains. Uh, 
and that's what i spent the most but i think to be honest it was the baskets but yeah that's where i spent the most i don't think i have any more receipts but if i remember where they're from i will let you know so this one now this is oh you're coming to say hello no you're going down that was just my cat my cat and my dog have come upstairs to join me now you be nice. You be nice. Be nice. Um, so when I first moved out, this is one of the things I bought as well. Because it was on offer in Asda when I first moved out. And then since the whole Mrs. Hinch craze, I've tried lots of different kitchen cleaners. But this one I've still remembered and it was on offer in Poundland yesterday for £2. Um... And I had to get it because I do really like it. It's the clean and fresh multi-purpose, but it's the pomegranate and lime one. Um, and it is really good. It is one of my favourites. And it's a big bottle and it does last. I did get a few kitchen cleaners, but I'm very glad I got that one again. And you're just wondering who I'm talking to, aren't you? <laughs> I'll show Oh, you're there, look. <laughs> I will show you in a minute, Mr. Attention Seeker. This was also on the same stand as the Dettol Spray um in poundland and this was two pound also now i have got one of these in at the minute i can't remember what the scent is i think it might be like mixed berries uh, but i use this mainly for the dog bed um for the dog bed and the couch and just things like that really like door handles to get them shiny oh honey that is honestly with kermit uh, but this one is crisp linen and it, to be honest i love all the summer scents and i love all mixed berries and stuff but you can't beat a bit of fresh linen and mixed linen and all of that can you like you just can't well not in my opinion anyway and that was from poundland um poundland now it does look like i've had it for about a year no i'm joking but it does look like i've had it for a few months i've not um i felt it up felt my like pump in the kitchen up with this i've got the shower gel of this well but it's in the shower wet and i really couldn't be bothered to bring it through while it was wet and drip all over me um but it's the cool coconut no drama obviously coconut uh, no drama llama and it's imperial leather on oh, it is nice it really is nice and i've just filled downstairs so pump up with that i've got cars i'm sat like near a window and I've just got cars <laughs> looking in the house, looking at me like I have lost my mind. Um, right, so this, yeah, this one was from like where I went for my hospital appointment. They had like <laughs> from the outside, they did look like just little tatty shops. I'm not gonna lie, um, which is very horrible to say, but they did. Um, but then I seen like this sparkly like vase on the inside of it and I thought, hmm, we'll go in. We went in and they had like, you know like cleaning products that you don't really see it. Do you know like if you're into cleaning, Astonish are only sold in like, so like some certain Astonish cleaners are only sold like Rage and stuff. Well, they had some of them, but they had some like stir drops that I've been struggling to find too. And we've just got, well, we've just been given a new leather coach off my nan. Uh so i found this one it was called the shop was called home of bargains <laughs> but it's the leather clean and feed so i've got that to try not tried it yet so can't report back um one bag empty got these in that home of bargain shop i've been wanting to try these for a while the astonish power clean toilet bowl tabs now I've been wanting to try them for ages. You get 10 in them. This was £1.40. I don't know what they, what price they are in range. Um, but yeah, you just literally pop them in your toilet. Leave them for 20 minutes and then like, quick scroll up and flush. But I've not tried this either because we literally got them last night. And then, by the time we got home from the shopping spree and the Nando's, uh, I was pretty tired. This was from Poundland. And this, I've had this loads of times. I was using... I got this, loved it, and then seeing people raving about the flash bathroom cleaner, which I did like, but I still prefer this one. This one's the Astonish bathroom cleaner. Um, 
I just think it brings everything up, Marshana, and it, it's like, and I know, and I never thought at the age of 23, I'd be buzzing so much and like so obsessed and it'd be a priority that a squid or something <laughs> was a priority, but the way this like, it like dispenses more, like evenly. So I do, I like this one. So I've got this one again. I'm running out of room to put these. Um, what's this one? It's like a little kid dip. This one was from another one of them like little shops. It wasn't from the home of Bergen's one, it was from another one. Um, and I've never seen this, I didn't know it was a thing. Um, and like I said, I've got a cat and a dog. Um, and to be fair, they're not very destructive at all. Like, they're both trained, they're both toilet trained. Uh, so we don't really have accidents, but they're still animals and they still smell like animals, I suppose. So I thought we'd try it and it's there we need it if they did have an accident or if they're real, because they're obviously dogs sick. <sighs> um, it's the Stir Drops Pet Stain and Odor Remover. No, I've never tried it, but we can give it a go. But yeah, I like stir drops to be fair, so I can't see it being a bad one. And then we have more astonished. Now I've heard people rave and rave and rave about this, the fabric refresher. Uh, I normally, to be fair, use the, uh, what is it called? I've got one in here. This. I normally use the Febreze. I normally use that. Um, th that one's with Lenore. I got that, by the way, too. That was in Poundland for a pound. Um, but I thought I would try this because people do rave about it. And I sprayed a bit um, on the bed last night. And it did smell really nice. And it'd be nice to have more. Maybe keep one upstairs, keep one down. Because no. And as well as having the... Uh, Febreze one I do fill up you know the spray bottles with like my fabric softener and water uh, which I like doing that too but you know what you can never have too much your house can never smell too nice in my opinion and I've never seen well I have seen it telling lies on Instagram but I've never seen it in person um, it's the Astonished Stainless Steel I just needed a new stainless steel spray and I've seen this love Astonished I thought right it now this video actually looks like an astonished crazy which is a bit true but you know and another one i think it's the last astonished yeah it is um and i've never tried this either this was from the home of bergens uh and this was the astonished kitchen cleaner zesty lemon i'm into anything lemon at the minute not tried this can't report but i'm looking forward to trying it if you want like an if you want me to do like a clean with me because i'm always cleaning like i love cleaning i'm not gonna lie and with two animals you do need to clean a lot like you need to clean regular um i'll do it and i will review these products too if you would like me to uh so yeah that's that one then we have i'll get both of these out together so the spray of the elbow grease i've tried before multiple times i think i've had about three bottles now i love this mainly i use it for like you know after i've cooked and you have like grease splashes and like sauce splashes that and on my sink too um i use it for that or like you know spills on the side it's really good it is really good and then they brought out this and i've never seen it i couldn't find it in the shops and then i found it it's a washing up liquid um but i'm not going to use it every day it's just general washing up liquid I used it yesterday to do my soap, clean my soap sets before I put the new one in. And the shine that come from it, like I'm gonna use it on my glasses. And like, you know that tough one when you've had a roast dinner? And like the tray from your chicken and stuff is a nightmare. Um, so I'm gonna use it on that. But it, it, to be fair, it really, and that's lemon. So that really does smell good. And that does seem to be good. And then we got, wow <laughs> no i use these to wipe my sides now i seen the cheaper ones i've taken out the packet so i can't remember what they're called i am sorry um which are these in multiple colors 
I keep the pink one upstairs for the bathroom because my theme's pink in the bathroom. So I thought, well, have the pink one. Um, but then these are the minky ones, which I've never been able to find. Oh, they smell so chemically. Um, and I think they're the same ones Mrs. Hinch uses because she calls them pinker. Um, they're very thick compared to like the others. And I've not tried these either, but I'm looking forward to cleaning my kitchen today with all my new products and my new sponges. Uh, and then everything else I got was, oh, this one, it's not been put up yet, so I can show you it. Oh, oh yeah, frame. <laughs> no, uh, it's just this like wooden frame. No, everywhere in our house. So downstairs in the living room, we are like grey mainly, grey themed. So everything's like white, grey and along them lines. But on like the, the landing upstairs, we we wanted to go for like cream and brown because we've not really gone for that anywhere. So we've already got a few photo frames up. And I've seen this one in Poundland and thought it looked really nice. Uh, it's not got obviously a picture in yet of ours. I don't think I've got one this big to be honest. So I need to order one. Uh, but we got them. And then we also got, which I will show you, um, them frames, can you see them? And they, them frames was from Poundland. They came in like a, so the big frames came on their own as a pound. So it was four pound for four of them. I've changed the bloody angle now. Uh, and then the littler frames, two for a pound. So I got two lots of them. And then the pictures, the big ones had four in, four pictures in a pack for a pound and the little ones had four pictures in a pack for a pound. And I just thought they'd look nice though because we've, we've focused on downstairs because that's what people mainly see. Um, so we've focused on downstairs. Uh, so the bedroom's been a bit neglected to be honest. So I thought, well, just put some stuff on the walls, make it look a bit more cosy. I'm all about them cosy vibes. Do you want to come and be in the video? Come here. Come here. You have to say hello. So this is Billy. Mwah. He's my little boy. No, he is. He is my. He's actually my baby. Like honestly, he's my baby. And you will see him throughout my videos. <laughs> so that is everything that I got from my bargain hunting. <laughs> um, I am a bargain chopper. And if you do want to see a clean with me video or any video related to cleaning or when I do a haul again or anything like that, just let me know. Uh, I think my next video is going to be a clothing haul because obviously I'm buying my um, holiday clothes for Santorina. So that'll be that. Um, but yeah.